Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. This video we're going to take a look at the uh, Harbor Freight uh, welding table. This table retails right around $70. Um, I have my concerns about how accurate this table is, so uh, let's do some uh, checking with the level and see what we come up with. Uh, you have to assemble it. Uh, putting it together wasn't too terribly hard. Um, my floor is a little crooked, so I have some cardboard underneath uh, portions of the legs to uh, even that out. Uh, the table is zinc coated, and that's supposed to assist in uh, uh, sticking uh, or prevent sticking of uh, when you're welding on the table. But I'm a little concerned that the table is fairly thin and there's uh, no supports on the underneath side. So for $70, that's a good price, but the question is, is how level is this table? Uh, when you're welding anything of any degree of precision, you want a very flat table. So uh, what I've done is I've gone through and I've checked uh, lengthwise and widthwise uh, with, with a Milwaukee level, and I'll show you what I've come up with. Going the width, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the uh, bubble, uh, but across this way on the of this front of the table, it is pretty level. Okay, if we move to the back, let me see if you can uh, if you can see that. Yes. Okay. Um, it also is pretty level. Okay. Now if we go to the center. Notice the bubble is uh, coming this way. So we have the, uh, the edge of the bubble crossing the line. Uh, it's almost level. It's, it's now just touching the other line, or the right-hand line. And the same way here. So what it looks like to me is fore and aft at each of the edges. The table is pretty level. In the center though, at least in the width here, uh, there's a little bit of warpage in the table. Now let's take a look the other way. You're not going to be able to see this. I've checked this already. Uh, if we go lengthwise now on the table, lengthwise the table is looking pretty level. Not too bad. So, in my opinion, in the center of the table across the width, there's a little bit of warpage. And that's to be expected because this uh, this is, uh, it's sort of beefy sheet metal, but still there's no support underneath. Uh, there's no cross bracing whatsoever. So, um, if, I, I, if I was going to use this table for any degree of precision work, I would want to come in and possibly either screw on or weld in some uh, cross supports to brace this table up and try to remove uh, some of that warpage in the center. Surprisingly though, lengthwise, it's level all the way across. Uh, and again, I've tried fiddling. Uh, there's an adjustment at this end and there's an adjustment at the other end. I found that if you tighten up all the nuts and bolts and uh, this bracket right here on both sides I tighten that up and that did remove uh, some of the warpage because the table would um, sort of rock back and forth a little bit so by tightening everything up uh, it did eliminate a lot of that but still in the direct center of the width there's a little bit of warpage. So it's not too bad for $70. It's not bad. Again, if I was going to do any degree of precision welding, uh, I would uh, try to beef it up or I would get something else. But for the price of $70, uh, it's very reasonable. It's pretty sturdy, sturdily built. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, in most cases uh, for some uh, artistic type welding. So. Precision for this particular table is not as critical as, let's say, someone who is uh, doing some some things that have to be perfectly uh, square, perfectly perpendicular uh, of the surfaces to each other. 
But all in all, for my purposes and possibly your purposes, it's not too terribly bad. Uh, again, I would beef it up, and I might do that in the future. And if we do, we will uh, we will do a video of that and see how difficult it will be to perfectly level up this table. Uh, this is a pretty quick video. Thank you uh, for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.